Hi, my name is Ginny Luther, and I'm a loving guidance associate for Dr. Becky Bailey's Conscious Discipline. And I first became involved with Conscious Discipline before it, the book was actually bound with Dr. Bailey. I was dealing with my son, who was not responding to the typical rewards and punishment kinds of discipline that I was trained to do, that wasn't working with him. He was a violent, angry child, and I knew I had to do something. So conscious discipline was, became my passion after I realized that I was standing one day with a wooden spoon in my hand, knowing, watching myself act stupid, knowing that that was not the way to go, and I needed to change myself to help my child so that he could manage his states. There's a lot of phenomenal stories, but one of the things in Conscious Discipline that is so helpful and so powerful are the I Love You rituals. And I remember walking into a Montessori, and I was, th I was asked to go into a classroom to watch, to observe a child that they were struggling with. In the midst of walking into that child, there was this little two-year-old girl whom I had known the family. I had worked with the family, although I was not, she was not the one I was observing. She was a sibling of a family that was struggling with a very difficult uh, developmental delay that her sibling was. The child was in the hospital, so I know that she was stressed out. But anyway, I walked into this room, and I sat down very quietly in the Montessori to observe this child. And she came up to me, and she had this look like this. And I said, your face is telling me that you seem frustrated, and you don't know what to do, and you're not quite sure what to choose to do. And she looked at me, and so I said, well, I have a story to tell you. So I did the wonderful woman with her. She loved the story, and then she went off to play, and I left, and, and two and a half months later, now this is a two-year-old, two and a half months later, I came back to revisit that classroom for another child. And when I walked in the door, she was on the other side of the classroom, and she made eye contact with me. And she came running up to me with her hand like this, and she said, you're that wonderful woman. Tell me that story again. And that's when I knew in my heart how powerful that just that little part of conscious discipline was. The reason that I think I'm unique as an LGA is number one is I think it's the connection that I make with the audience. I understand the position of what they're going through and what it's like to deal with a very difficult child. And I think I also can really connect with the audience and hone in as well on what the real issue is that's going on and be able to adjust my, adjust my talks to audiences to meet their needs in the moment. So I feel like I'm very present with them. I can, uh, I'm flexible in being able to move through the information and be able to shift to meet their needs as I see fit in the moment. The biggest personal change it's made in my life is about 14 months ago my son was killed the very difficult son that has taught me so much about myself to be more conscious with myself so I could help him be conscious. He was tragically murdered and uh, in a very violent way and um, I can honestly say that I don't think that I would be able to survive where I am now and be able to hold my head up and have the strength that I do and to be able to manage my life as well as I am without conscious discipline. I've been able to get back into the workforce to be able to carry my life knowing that this event has not destroyed me. Conscious discipline has helped me to be able to manage the deep grief, the sadness, the hurt, the anger, all of the feelings at a level that where they don't overcome me, they're just with me. And without all the years of conscious discipline and helping others do the same for themselves, I don't think I would have been strong enough to be able to manage what's happened in 14, the last 14 months. I can get through this using the skills that I have. I know that you also can get through the everyday life's ups and downs. I know that I can help you become more conscious in your states so that you can feel you can access some of your brilliance to be able to feel in control of your life, to be able to feel empowered in your life, and to be able to feel uh, safe and connected.